Yo, what's up, people? Hey, so I've been trying to play on chess.com, and hey, it's pretty good. There's a lot of strong players. I played some three-minute chess, got my rating way up, crushing everybody. Um, the problem is there's no five-minute. Like, if you look at the game, oh, I can't, it's not on the screen right now, but, like, no good players play five minutes. So it's either three-minute or nothing. Um, or I'm going to see, like, I'm, I'm much more comfortable commenting on five-minute games. I find them just much more interesting. But let's let's try one, see if we can do it. I might not say as much because you have to be focused. Like, I feel like I'm playing well, and part of it because I'm not recording. And I'm really focusing. Uh, and with the, the time situation, you kind of need to do that. But let's see. We'll play one game real quick. Did I press play? My, my browser, like, froze up or something. I don't know what's going on. Uh, okay, let's hit refresh. We'll see. I mean, there's a lot of good players there. Oh, I'm in the pool winning, getting paired. Here we go. Playing an IM from somewhere. Yeah, it's just tough, man. You gotta go so fast. Like, even the slightest hesitation and your, your whole game is ruined. Because, like, speed is, is so crucial in this time control. I hope he takes with the knight. Just in case. Alright. Ah, uh, okay, just to castle faster. Hmm, okay. You see, it's hard to give much constructive uh, <laughs> constructive analysis here. I kind of want to go queen b8. Sure, why not? It's a weird move, though. Uh, you know, I don't love these types of positions, but, you know, we're playing three minutes, so I just try to get something playable, and I'll play them later. I assume bishop e7. That's what I was going to do anyway. Uh, h6 next move. I could have done it last move also. Alright, I guess I'll do it now. If the queen goes to h4, it's a little, okay, a little funny there. I put my queen on c7, knight, if knight c3, rook c8, knight b5, queen b8. I hope it's okay. Could be missing something. a6 would have been a safer choice. Rook c8 is like a little more risky. Uh, Alright, I'm hoping e5 is not a move. If it is, I'll move my knight. I guess d6, let's just play hedgehog style. I like my knight here, defending everything. I should develop my rook, actually. What am I doing? Jesus Christ, knight d5. Alright, um... Such an idiot. Whatever. I guess I'll take it. I don't know what to do. <laughs> um, look at my idiot. Obviously, yes. See, this is why I suck at like the stupid time control. All right, I'll just do this. But yeah, yeah, I'm just not playing well when I have to talk. It's just like I don't know why. I'm just gonna be a worse version of myself. Cause I was crushing everybody, man. Just left and right, just boom, 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 boom. Everybody dead. Uh, but it's clear that I'm having some troubles. Like already. Is rook c6 any good? I don't know. Let's go rook b8. No, that's bad. Bishop a8. Yeah, I'm just not the same player. I just. Whatever, I have 5. Uh, well, this is actually not bad for me. I got some diagonal. Long diagonal. Oh, crap. It's going to trade queens. It's going to try. I have to avoid it. Maybe I'll checkmate him. Probably I will. It's just normal. <laughs> uh, um, F4. What the hell is attack him? Rook G1, maybe? Rook F8. We'll see. Oh, that looks risky. That looks like a really bad move. Oh, no, he has... Okay, he has some move, though. Uh, I'm going to start by taking this. See, if Rook D8, Queen G7, Queen takes. Bishop takes Rook D2, King G1... 
I have a lot of compensation there, but probably the best move is bishop c6. God, it's hard to say. Oh, wait, hold on. Rook d8. Take, 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 take. Check. Boom. Jeez. Check. Check. What am I doing? This is ridiculous. Spending all my time like an idiot. <sighs> <It's> disgusting. <laughs> um. Wait, what the hell is this? Some kind of joke? Alright, whatever. I win. I mean. So let's try to like see. It's like usually I would do a post mortem, but like the game's so fast, it's like everything's random. Nothing's really interesting. <laughs> this is the problem with three minute chess. Like I, even this opening, I think, um, like b six. I don't like. I, I should go c five. But you know the problem is you, you don't even have time in the opening to think about what to do. You have to just make a move. Uh, in a five minute game, I would just take a second, make sure I make the proper move. But you just don't have that time in three minute, in my opinion. Uh, yeah, this position, like, this, this queen b8 moves, not so bad, actually. I, everything was fine. This position has to be fine for me. I think I should go a6, just play it safe. No, I mean, why not, though? Like, I, I was, like, slightly worried about, what was I worried about? Yeah, I mean, if take, take, rook d7, is, is rook on a8 under attack, so you can't really do that. So maybe my move's fine. How do I revert to the game? Oh crap. I, I forget how to use this, this thing. <laughs> A6, kind of. I was a little scared that E5 worked, but. Like take, take, queen, take. You had this discovery somewhere, like knight D5. Oh, maybe it worked, but you know, I, I figure worst case. Um, I could. Well, like, like this is probably winning, knight D5. So I had a feeling that something like that might exist. But it's three minute game, so you really don't have time to even think about that stuff. So I was just going to move my knight away if it worked. I think I said that at some point. But alright, so let me figure out how the heck do I re revert to a game? What does it say? Restore current position? Why does it keep going to the end every time? It's annoying. Uh, h3, e6, it's like a solid position. And now I played a horrible move. Like, rook c1, the queen is in the same file as the rook. They're always going to go knight d5. This is just a standard trick. Uh, I should go knight c5, maybe. If I want to be really safe, queen b8. But knight c5 looks normal. Instead, I played this horrible move, rook e8. And now, you know, I'm just worse. I lost a bishop for a knight. It's, it's not pleasant. This move. You know, he was attacking me. For some reason, when he went knight d4 and I took, I kind of forgot that he would be attacking checkmate on g7 and the pawn on d6. So I should do something else, like knight e5 or rook d8 or something, knight c5 maybe. But alright, I took it like an idiot. Uh, I mean, I'm just hoping to get some bishops of opposite color position, and I got lucky. He thought he was winning a piece, and he wasn't. I didn't even see this, but fortunately I wasn't losing. And now I have really compensation, because I got this this diagonal here, which I can even make an arrow with that. Beautiful. Queen g5. I had a feeling I was going to win at this point, just because, you know, I'm going to trick him somehow, right? Gf4. I don't know. I thought rook g1 made sense. Try to Increase pressure in the G line. In, in that case, I was gonna. I, I was thinking about rook f8. Pawn takes, queen takes. So he can't really go pawn takes. Ah, oh, but he has bishop g7, I think. Oh, then rook f7. No. Hmm. So queen takes now pawn takes. Oh, I didn't see this move. All right, it's all complicated. Rook g1 was interesting. But instead, he did rook e1. Oh, it's not letting me revert. How do I restore without? All right, whatever. Your rookie won, uh, and now is a big moment in the game where I can play rook, rook to d8, and I calculate a take, 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 rook d2, king g1, and now I would love to go rook g, you know, first you can probably even go king h1, but if king f1, I can't go rook f8, because the bishop controls it, so I was thinking, I was thinking this position's okay for me, because of my active rook, like, Somehow I can double. I, it's not even that clear how I double rooks in the second rank, though. He might just go rook f1 and f2. 
So I couldn't make this one work. Because if he doesn't take on g7, I go rook d2 and mate. So I decided to go bishop c6 instead. I, I figured he would play... I don't know. I mean, something that doesn't allow me to go queen d2. The problem is then I have rook d8. I thought I might be winning. I, I just wasn't sure. So I didn't have that much time. Maybe I'm just winning. What does he do? Maybe I'm just a genius. Oh, I saw... No, this is not really good for him. I mean, yeah, rook d2 has got to be winning. I don't know what he does here. He's probably just lost. Let's do computer analysis. See if this works for you guys. Oh, you can't see it, unfortunately. I just want to see him as one move. After bishop c6, he says... Somehow white's better. Oh, I didn't see that. Wait. Oh, I'm an idiot. Alright, the reason is... um. I know you can barely see the whole screen, but you can you can take on. Sorry, wrong button. <laughs> you can take on c6 here, which I somehow overlooked. Cause I'm not too smart. Oh no, it says I'm winning after rook d2. It just looks normal actually. Um, so this is the whole thing. Winning? H4. I don't know. I mean, you know, he's in trouble. He's got a lot of things to deal with here. The, the, the way he went wrong was when he played... Um, God, where did he go wrong? Chess is so hard, man. I mean, probably taking on e4 is a big mistake. Understandable one, but still a mistake. And he should just play, like, I don't know, queen e3 or something. Just be up a pawn maintain his bishop. It's hard to say how I'm not not much worse here. Oh well. Anyway, thanks for watching. Uh, I'm not sure, you know, let me know what you think about this. I like playing chess.com. There's a lot of good players, but I really think three minute for a video is just less good in every imaginable way. Whereas five minute, you really get to think, you really get to delve into a position. Every now and then I can spend a minute on a move, which is, is, is nice in a video, or at least 30 seconds. Whereas in three minutes, I feel like any time you spend more than ten seconds, you're really, you're really messing things up. Thanks for watching. See you next time. Bye bye.